Now everyone knows about Kudzu and Mysteria and English Ivy. Terrible invasive plants that ruin homes and all these beautiful natural forests around us, but no one really knows all of them. I mean, there are always those small ones that make a big difference. Four years ago, we went with my school to the Walnut Creek Wetlands, which is right in southern Raleigh. Beautiful area, lots of natural plants, and we were cleaning up a native plants garden that was on display, and had been overrun by this hideous looking bun. It was everywhere, in a conglomerate of green. So, I was clearing away some of the vines that were tangling up goldenrod, and then my teacher walks by. I saw the for a second I go, what is this thing? It's everywhere and so annoying. And he just says, oh, that's honeysuckle. And then I look at him like, are you, you're telling me that it's that pretty yellow and white flower that has a little drop of honey at the end that has so many memories for people in the South? And he says, yeah. That flower. And I was just standing there shocked. The way this plant takes control of such large areas is that it wraps around a tree multiple times and it constricts it of its water flow and also in dense amounts can block the sunlight hitting the leaves of these young trees which stops photosynthesis and stunts its growth. Its roots also bury deep into the ground and just outcompete the native species. And since there are no predators for it here in the US, it's basically roaming free and we're not doing anything to stop it. The plant was first introduced in New Jersey around the 1800s for ornamental and erosion control. But it started to spread out of control. Soon it was up and down the eastern seaboard and into the Midwest. And it's taken over almost all the forests now. Most people don't even know that this plant is doing this. I mean, everyone has memories as a kid going to a honeysuckle bush during recess and getting a little bit of that sweet honey from flowers. I have memories like that. And all the while it's roaming free and killing off these great native plants. All behind our backs and we're just blinded by its little drop of honey. So what can we do to help? I mean, if it's already taken over pretty much the whole U.S., then what can we do as citizens to help? One way is to remove the plant yourself. When, like after a big rainfall or when the ground is really moist, pull the roots out, untangle it from the tree using clippers and then bake it to prevent the seeds from dispersing. I'm pretty sure most people know where one honeysuckle bush is, so if everyone moves one bush, that can have a tremendous impact on where this plant is spreading. So next time you're walking by on a little trail and you see that honeysuckle bush. Just ask yourself, is the honey worth it?